Welcome back, Odoers. Jose Ignacio here. Now, when a company grows, the amount of leads they have to manage grows right along with them. And much like the saying goes, with great power comes great responsibility. Now, maintaining and nurturing these relationships is key to achieving continued growth and success as a business. More than that, successful companies like Stealthy Wood also know how to quickly and easily convert these leads into satisfied customers. That's why we rely on Odoo's marketing automation to take our campaigns to the next level. Now with Odoo, we can automate workflows for various marketing tasks, such as cart recovery, promotional offers, blogs, and everything in between. And all of this can easily be done and configured with Odoo. Now, Odoo marketing automation provides you with all of these tools that you'll need to build intelligent, stylized, data-driven campaigns. With Odoo, you always deliver the right message to the right audience at the right time. And that's all done in one easy to use application. Now, how cool is that? So enough chit chat, as I will always say, let's jump into our Stealthywood database and see how Odoo marketing automation can eliminate the need for manual tasks, free up time, and you know, let you enrich customer relationships better than ever before. All right, hello doers. Now today we're starting a little bit different. We're gonna start on the CRM dashboard. Now we're only here to show that we have a modular desk opportunity right here in the bottom left. And that's very important. So remember this opportunity as we're gonna launch a marketing campaign to nurture opportunities into leads and hopefully down the line leads into sales. So speaking of, let's jump over to our marketing automation app to get started. So you can go back over here to our main dashboard and we're jumping into marketing automation. It's the little gear. Now, once they were in here, in general, I also wanna make a note, marketing campaigns are used to centralize and report on marketing efforts and activities revolving around the same topic. One of the most efficient ways to accomplish this goal is going through custom automation and other time-saving tactics. And that's exactly what we're about to jump into before I get started. So, you know what? Let's create one, let's get started. All right, now, on the marketing automation dashboard, you'll find all of your automated marketing campaigns in a default Kanban view. This allows you to quickly and easily see the status of all of your automated activities for each campaign. Right now, it was just the one, but you know, we just started to create one. Now, each card will have a collection of data related to the campaign for easy analysis. So, when you hit that create button, you get brought to this page first. Now we need a title for this. And in our case, we're going to title this nurture leads. That's what we want. Slash opportunities. Beautiful. All right. So now to the right of this, you'll find the status bar. Obviously we're still in the new stage. We haven't run anything. We haven't set up anything, but once we get things going, that status will move to the campaign running and then eventually stopping, you know, when we choose to conclude it. Now, we also need to specify who we want to target with this campaign. Now, we're going to enter that information right here in the target field. Now, when I open the drop down here, it gives us a lot of options. And in our case, who do we want to target here, oh doers? Well, for instance, with this campaign, we want to reach out to our leads and opportunities, but I don't see that as an option in this quick drop down. But it's no worries because we can actually search more. And this will end up allowing us to actually find what we need. So we're going to go through this array. There we have it. Lead an opportunity. Now, this campaign is set to target all the records in my database that are considered a lead or an opportunity. You'll find your number of matching records here to the right of this field over here on the filter area. In our case, 40 records. Now, moving on. We have another area. We'll find a unicity based on field. Now, when you open this area too, we have a few other options. Now this field is used to avoid duplicates on the model field. So for example, in this case, let's say that I type in the word email and I want to avoid, let's select email CRM dot lead. Now you can also select something else, but for this instance, in this field, this avoids processing records with customers who have the same email address. That way, if there are two leads with the same email, the automated marketing campaign won't spam the email twice with the same message. And we all hate when that happens. Have you ever gotten an email from, you know, a marketing campaign? And then you get it again the same day? I digress. Anyways, 
we'll leave that alone for now. So we're actually just going to delete this because we don't care. <laughs> now for this campaign, let's narrow down our target audience instead by creating a unique filter. Now to do that, we'll click over here on the add filter. And then we're going to need some options here. Now, upon clicking it, an equation field will appear. And that equation field, so that you don't get scared, will enter specific criteria to further whittle down our target audience. I'm going to give you an example that I find pretty useful and easy for this, and it could be applicable for you. Now, for this campaign, I want to target the opportunities that are solely in the new stage of the pipeline, just like the modular desk we started on. I see, I told you we'd go back to that. Now, since we want Odoo to target a certain stage in my pipeline, we'll need to select stage for the first part. And then what else do we want? We actually want stage name. And as you see that populated that first one, and then we'll want the stage name to equal. So we're going to keep the equal. And then over here, we're going to actually type in a word and we're going to type in the word new. Now this is done. Once that we type that, Odoo shows us how many records in our database match that specific criteria. As you'll notice, we started with 40, but now it is 14. So we really narrowed it down. This means this campaign will only be directed towards those 14 people now. In other words, with this filter in place, this campaign will only target the you know, specific number that you want. So those are the ones that are in the new stage, just like we wanted, and that's the most important part. I actually, if you notice, I can even do things such as create further parts to this, more equations if I wanted to, or set things. Now, there's something actually very useful that I kind of overlooked that I've forgotten about Odoers. Now, you'll notice you can even say this as a favorite filter if I ever want to use the same filter again for another campaign. And isn't that useful? Now, we're all set. Our campaign is done there. Now, once that you finish probably notice that you'll get a participant smart button once that you start a campaign. Everything looks good here. So we actually want to, uh, actually we're going to click somewhere else. I almost forgot Odoers. So we're going to kick back over to our marketing automation dashboard and we're going to open over here commercial prospection. Now, as you see here, just to clear things up, by the way, the difference between records and participants is simple. Records represent the numbers of contacts that fit the criteria you just configured. And participants represent the number of people who are already participating and engaging in the campaign in one way or another. Once you have your title, your target, and your filter ready to go, you can move on to the next step, creating automated marketing activities. So stay tuned, O-Doers, and thank you for watching.